Hello, everyone. This is Tom from everystepcalculus.com, everystepphysics.com. A line integral problem for calculus. And um, this regards to a line segment, and the vertices are, you know, x and y, two of them. And the function is given in dx and dy. So let's do it. Index 8 to get to my menus. I'm already at the line integral. And I'm already at the line segments here, which you would choose. And we're going to choose number 3. First vertice, you have to press alpha before you enter anything in these entry lines here. The first vertice is alpha zero, alpha zero, and the x is one and four in the next vertice. parameterize it into t. So x of t is equal to the um, second x value sub and then you subtract the first one from it to get the t value here. Same thing with the y. The last minus the first. And then we solve for x which we get to add the x1 or y1 to it. We get 1t and 4t. Derivatives are 1 and 4 for the first segment. Upper and lower limits are standardized at 0 and 1. Now we're going to enter the function before the dx term, which is y squared. Variables before the dy function here, dy. So, and that's going to be x squared alpha x squared. And this one is subtracting dx minus dy. So we're choosing number one. And I'll show you what you made in case you made a mistake again. See, it's okay. We add the parameters to the function x and y. You're going to put parentheses around here, these quotation marks. The program that I use adds the uh, you know, uh, quotation marks. And 0 to 1, we have the integral here. is 4. Pretty neat, huh? EverystepCalculus.com. Go to my site, buy my program if you want to make it easy on passing calculus or physics. Otherwise, let me do the studying and you do more important things because calculus is such a waste of time for anybody but a math major. Hey, have a good one.